गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल आई एम पूनम स्वप्निल जाधव वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग ए आई एस एस एम एस आई ओ आई टी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द वॉटरफॉल मॉडल ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स न वॉटरफॉल मॉडल इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ सिक्वेंशियल मॉडल यर द एक्टिविटीज of the software development are divided into the different phases and each phase consists of a series of task and has different objectives the waterfall model was first model which was widely used in the industry it is divided into phases where the output of each phase is given as the input to the next phase it is mandatory for a phase to be completed before the next phase starts in short there is no overlapping in the waterfall model now as you can see the diagram of the waterfall model consists of requirement design development testing deployment maintenance now let us see each of the phase in detail now the first phase that is requirement gathering and analysis here the business analyst is responsible for information gathering information gathering is the requirement gathering from the customer information gathering involve the business requirement specification that is the brs business analyst prepare the brs document analysis business analyst is involved in the analysis process in the analysis phase srs is made srs stands for software requirement specification srs document is made after the brs srs is the detailed documentation now design the designing part consists of high level design and low level design high level design means overall system design the high level design is created by system architect depending upon the srs document it is created first before the low level design in the high level design the input criteria is srs low level design is detailing the high level design means it refers to the component level design process low level design is developed by the front end developers it is created after the high level design in low level design the input criteria is the high level design now implementation implementation means coding part coding means programming when you write a line it is called a code multiple lines of code is called a program the set of programs written by the developer create the software there are two types of developer front end developer back end developer now the user interface functionalities functional flow processes are developed by the front end developer the back end developer takes care of the data management then data gathering algorithm selection for storage of the data now the person or the developer who can work as the front end developer as well as the back end developer is called as the full stack developer next comes testing here in the testing phase the software or the application that is developed is tested to check whether it meets the requirement of the customers and it is free defect free three types of 
testers are involved or you can say three type of testing is done that is white box black box testing and gray box testing now white box testing white box testing is done by the developer itself it is also called as the code level testing unit testing or clear box testing in the white box testing whenever the coder complete his code writing he checks or compiles the code then if he finds any bug then he himself solves it the developer cannot send the code to the tester without performing the white box testing the developer check or test only the positive scenarios the white box testing has the purpose to test the correctness and the completeness of the program or the function that is developed now black box testing black box testing is also known as system and function testing this testing is done by the tester the overall functionality gets checked in this type now gray box testing gray box testing is combination of white box testing and black box testing the tester is involved in this kind of testing to do the gray box testing tester should have programming knowledge the role of gray box tester is whenever the final software is handed over to tester tester check it functionality and if any fault is found in the output or the function then the tester does not give it to developer he himself tries to solve it now comes the deployment phase once the software has been tested and approved it is deployed to the production environment now maintenance maintenance means provide the service after the delivery of the project or the application now here the maintenance include the non technical as well as the technical support non technical support is called the bpo and the technical support is called the kpo now advantages of the waterfall model this model is simple and easy to understand it processes only one phase at a time here each stage has clearly defined objectives this model has very clear and well understood milestones the process action and the results are well documented here reinforces the good habits like define before the design define before the code this model works well for smaller projects and where the project requirements are well understood now the drawbacks of waterfall model it is difficult to accommodate the change requests this model assumes that the customer requirement can be completely and correctly defined at the beginning of the project but as you know the customer requirements keep on changing with time so it is difficult to accommodate any change request after requirement specification phase is complete no overlapping of phases this model recommends that a new phase can start only after the completion of the previous phase but in real projects this can't be maintained not suitable for complex projects the waterfall model is not well suited for complex projects as the linear and sequential nature of the model can make it difficult to manage the multiple dependencies and the interrelated components i hope that the waterfall model is clear to you all thank you